got the lovely, beautiful. I love her attitude. Thank I you. I love her energy. Yes. <laughs> Motherfucking K Michelle in the yes. house. Yeah. What Game up? Class. What's up? Nothing, man. Chilling. Yo. <laughs> that that um record, VSOP. I love it. Oh my God! You know it's crazy when you get a record that dudes and women like. Cause I've yeah. always did this. Oh my God! He broke my hard record. Yeah. yeah. I was like, not this time. Uh-huh. I need to be in a club and I need to do a record that dudes would be like, a Oh, record. I wish I had a chick like that. In the last episode, and you was talking to I forgot homeboy the ball dude. What's We're talking name? about love and hip hop Atlanta. And yeah, um, love and hip hop. Hey, what's the what's the dude name? Little um, Richard. <laughs> All right, Little Richard. Shout out to him. And you really shut him down. Wait, was... I just realized who the fuck she talked. Oh, shit. <laughs> Little Richard. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. So she was like, you know, it was just, you know, it was a situation. He, he just, I didn't, I didn't understand why he said that, but because I am a guy and I wouldn't really like press a girl, you know what I'm saying? Who like, confronts a girl? He's like, and he's he, like, it's... you can't walk the streets. She's like, nigga, I got goose too. So what you, you know what I mean? I was like, I'm not scared hey. of no man with four earrings in his ear. Like, I'm from Memphis. Like, we jump gates. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> My uncle was on cops. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> My uncle was on. I'm going to look up that episode. Uh, so, no, I've been around a lot of street dudes. That, and you come and you threatening me about fight, you know, fighting with your wife who walked up on me. And you suppose if goons don't do that. Nah, goons I, don't pop don't do up. That at all. Goons don't pop up. It's your, goons don't wear four earrings in their ear. You know what I'm saying? Goons don't name the name of they label D Lo Entertainment. Pow. I don't know about Shots that. fired again. Uh, now I got a quick question. When, okay. we, when it comes to like the show, mm-hmm. right? Last season, I, I gotta I gotta admit, I was an avid fan. I was watching right next to White. I'm a real, I was watching I'm a reality it, show. Guy, watching so it all I the time. This season yeah. I haven't really watched it as mm-hmm. much because of course we're busy on the road and with the show and everything. But what I've noticed is that last season you was like the the, the star. Everybody love you. And you know what happens when they love you? They, they start you. to hate you. Uh-huh. And I'm starting to see that this season. How do you uh-huh. feel they about that? They always hated her, though. Talking about both right now. Because mm-hmm. a lot of people are starting to say, da 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 came and shout out, I fucking hate that shit, da 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 okay. what, what do you think about that? Cast and fans. I think checks. Okay. <laughs> Next uh-huh. question. <laughs> now. <laughs> I mean, okay. But I seriously. mean, I'm just me. Like, it's going to always, everybody isn't going to love you. Mm-hmm. It was like that last. It was always like that. No matter where I go, people like... I absolutely love you um i think you're when you keep on moving and getting to a point i was i was in a lot of conflict this season Mm -hmm. and the strategy was fight with k michelle for camera time that's what it seems like yes that is the strategy and i'm looking at it (laughs) when i when i look at the show i'm like wait a minute are you mad at her because she's telling you straight up like this is the fucking problem i can't yeah. give it to you any more blunt are you mad at her because she's just more popular than you or more talented too could be yeah definitely i think she, she is the most talented cast member on that show no i'm talented i'm really an artist there just playing like it's it is what it is like i don't give two shits mm. like i can honestly say that i fluff my pillow at night and sleep well facts yeah I, <laughs> she looked at you, nigga. I fucked my pillow. Yeah, my sheet, you know, it. my thread count on my sheets is great. Like I don't, I'm not really. You know, you do, you do look at situations on TV. Like people have to understand, we film this months before it comes out, and yeah. you are at a different place in life when it's airing, and it brings you back and to like, that damn, point. Like, damn, damn why was I even no more right there? Yeah. <laughs> let me let me tell you something. There, now that you said I fluff my pillow at night, there was one thing she said. She said that you know one cast member looks like she sleeps on a bed with no sheets on it. <laughs> that shit <laughs> had me rolling. I'm not gonna say any names. No, do you know that's what my up, girl? Stevie? But you know, it, it's, that's really she's Jocelyn is really my girl. But I would think that she's your girl because she's one of the blunt motherfuckers, just yeah. like you. Like you keep, we crack jokes on each other. That's why I love her. She could say something about me. I could say something about her, and we just laugh at each other, and we don't take because she moving. got. You know, she's one of the favorites, so she doesn't have to fight and compete with mm-hmm. me. We've just kind of started to film together, or whatever you know, but. I crack jokes on Jocelyn and she's cracked jokes on me and we go about our business. But what made you make that decision of you just um just separating yourself from the love and hip hop Atlanta thing? 
it's just time to stop. Like, it's kind of like it, it served its purpose. And it was what I needed to do at that time. But don't nobody want to go to work every day having a fight and, do you feel and like, being angry. Do you feel like it was bringing down your brand? Because, you, you know, you built, you're like a person that I respect. Like, when I first seen Nikki, mm-hmm. she was on, like, Canal Street giving mixtapes yeah. out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I see, like. Be clear, you, Nicki Minaj. Yeah, Nicki Minaj. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You've built your brand from mixtapes to mixtapes, yeah. and it's like you got your deal on your own. Yeah. It wasn't because of controversy. Mm-mm. It wasn't because of the you had a record on yeah. the show, and they said, "I'm gonna sign you." Yeah, because you know you really do this shit. Yeah, like you know now, if I wanted to kind of stay, you know, it's time. Like my manager is Jeff Robinson from MBK. You know, he okay. yeah, Jeff, he man. built Alicia Keys. You know, Elvarn, a lot of different people. And I just don't want my music to be boxed in a certain place. It's really time for me to expand and do some other things. And, you know, that show does somewhat keep you in a certain demographic Uh of situations. So I'm different. You know, it's a lot about me. People don't know I play classical piano. People don't understand that I graduated from college. I was Miss Florida A&M University. They understand I pledge Delta Sigma Theta. It's a lot of different. I was just going to say that. Yeah. It's a lot of different aspects of me. Can I see you do the Delta sign real quick? Yeah, always. I always throw my sign. It's not the rock. This is the Delta sign. Don't you do like a a word or something? Y'all say something? Yeah, I'm not going to do it on the radio. Okay. We kind of have a little respect. Yeah. For our little stuff. Okay. But, <laughs> My bad. It's some gang shit going on. <laughs> but fuck, I can't do everything. I can't nah, do that. but it's that's done. Um, actually, I have my own show on VH1 that's coming. Oh, congratulations! Right. Thank you. No, it, <laughs> shit. It does, uh, is, is this common knowledge? I feel like I feel like this is like we get an exclusive. No, baby. I'm just really talking about it. They ain't gonna kill me for talking about okay. it. Because <laughs> I know they usually they keep a muzzle on everybody. But yeah, I'm glad I just here. talk. I mean, I do my job on TV, so when I just is talk. That, when I mean, is that supposed to start? Is that next um, year? We haven't even started. We haven't started the filming oh, of okay. it. I am moving. This is another basically exclusive I've been talking about today. I am on the new season of Love and Hip Hop New York for ratings. They're bringing me there. <laughs> for ratings. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what are you gonna be fighting New York? No, 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 no. Right. What's going on within that show? Oh you, I'm gonna be introducing the characters of my show on that show.